Hey guys, what's going on? James here, back with the Income Journey, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at an Etsy store that is going out there and doing some, what I would call, aggressive marketing with some kind of crude humor. Now, not everyone is going to want to do something like this, especially, I think, you know, this type of store, it's very, very British, like the humor is, is British, and whenever I've been in America, you guys just don't have that same sort of banter as we do, and if you called someone an absolute beep, you guys would get annoyed, whereas over here, you say that to someone and they're kind of your friend. Now, this store is going out there and they're really going after that type of humor. I thought it was kind of funny. I thought I'd show it to you guys. I'll also give you a look at where you can actually get candles that you can sell. Obviously, really good gift coming into Christmas, just the winter in general. So you have a couple of months to kind of really sell this type of product. So let's go ahead, jump in. This store is doing really, really well with it. And they also do something that's interesting where they're not even selling the candle, but people will still buy the item that they're selling. So if you guys do enjoy this video, go ahead, give it a big thumbs up, hit subscribe if you are new here. And let's take a look at this store. This one, obviously based out of the United Kingdom, as I said, I think it's very United Kingdom humor. And I definitely see this doing better in the UK versus, you know, kind of the rest of the world. So you can see here, Black Friday sale going on, 22,592 sales. So definitely, you know, the store is doing really, really well. If we take a look on E-Rank, we can see that the shop has only been around for 326 days. So they're actually not even a year old and they're already done 22,000. They're averaging 70 or 69 0.35 seals and that's very funny that they're doing 69 seals per day because it's very on brand for the personalized studio uh so they're killing it they're less than a year old their global sales ranks 2000 here and it seems like their main products their best products that are selling their best sellers are these candles right here so let's take a look at pricing uh, and the products themselves. So they do have a ton of products in their store. It's not just can, uh, candles. It looks like it's called kind of like a small home business. This person is actually creating the products. They're not doing print on demand, but no reason you can't do something similar with print on demand. However, I think like candles, if you actually go out there and look at how to manufacture these, I don't think it's that expensive to get the machinery or the equipment you need to manufacture candles uh, and actually ship them out yourself. You know, if you wanted to do something like this, you simply have to get, you know, a decent printer to print the labels to put on them uh, and then go ahead and, you know, create your candles, which I don't think is that hard, create them and send them out yourself. If you did want to do something that was, you know, you're going to have a little bit more of a moat if you're doing that versus print on demand sellers, it's actually probably a better option. Again, you know, Etsy's probably going to like that better as well. And you're going to be able to do stuff that people who are doing print on demand just can't do because they're not manufacturing it themselves. So something interesting to, to look into if you did want to do something like that. They do other stuff here like bottle openers, coasters, cards, ornaments, jewelry. Uh, let's take a look at their prints, see what sort of prints they're doing. So they got uh, September, just kind of standard prints here of engagements, uh, weddings, stuff like that. These ones are kind of cool down here. We got kind of like the, you know, the personalization kind of clip art style stuff. Well, let's take a look at their candles. So some of these I thought were hilarious, right? So you got your standard stuff like engagement, uh, happy ever after for, you know, a wedding here, new home, amazing. But then if we scroll down, you're going to find some some funny ones. I think they maybe recently kind of uploaded uh, these funny ones. So we can't see them on this page. If you go to page two right here, so I can't actually see them here. Let me see in, in all section right here. So right here, we've got light me when the dog farts, like this candle when you need to calm the fuck down. Over here, we've got uh, when the candle is lit, lick my clit, okay. So you're kind of getting into that really aggressive, rude humor. Uh, light me when the cat farts, so just kind of a variation on the dog one. Uh, my last fuck, oh look, it's on fire. Uh, this video is getting demonetized, isn't it? That's that's happening. Like me when you want a, a blowjob. All of this stuff, right? It's just very, very funny. You know, my meditation candle's on, now fuck off. It's time for guests to leave. Don't touch a fucking thing. So they've all these really kind of harsh, crude ones. And you can see that these are the ones that are actually in people's baskets. These are the ones that are catching people's eyes because it's just funny, right? You know, people are going, they're buying these as a, a little funny Christmas present. Now, let's jump into to one of these. Let's see. So if you jump into this one, you can see that it says 250. Now I, I looked at this, I was just like, that's just way too cheap. That's definitely not accurate pricing. But if we look here, the 250 is just selling the label. They'll ship it out and send you the label so you can stick it on your own candle. Uh, obviously, that's just a printer printing off stickers, right? You buy sticker paper, you print it, you cut it, you're good to go, right? That's how you sell a product like that. So again, that's very, very easy to do for anyone. Just buy a, a printer that prints, you know, sticker paper 
and you're good to go to sell something like that, ship it out in envelopes. Here, you're doing candle and label, which is $9.99. So obviously, that includes the candle. You're going to have to create the candle, but you could do this with print on demand. You're going to have to charge a little bit more than $9.99, though, because you know it costs, I think, in around like six, seven pounds or so for the candles on Printify. So you're gonna have to go ahead, get the candle from Printify, and then you're gonna have to charge your own markup on it there. You know, obviously you work out Etsy's fees, all of that stuff, and have enough margin there for it to make sense. Actually going and getting that equipment, I don't think is a bad idea for someone with a couple of hundred pound who maybe wants to invest in an Etsy business. So the candle and label is 9.99, and then there's probably also some shipping costs on there as well. So that's kind of their products, that's kind of their pricing setup for this. The main thing about this video and why I made it was just because of this marketing angle, right? They're going after stuff that's a little bit crude, it's rude, it's funny, it works, right? You go into card shops in the UK, you're gonna find stuff like this. Again, let me know in the comments if this is something that you know you would see in America. I don't think it is. I don't think this is the type of humor that you know is over there, but I could be completely wrong. So let me know down in the comments. Now, let's take a look through some of their other stuff here and see if there's any other interesting products that we could potentially go after, and then we'll do an estimate of how much money these guys are making from this store. Now, it's a little bit different because they are doing other stuff, prints, they're doing back to school stuff here, which is pencil cases, although that is a print on demand item. Come down here, they're doing some t-shirts. You know, these are just teacher t-shirts. Right here, we've got Pudsy Burr for children in need, I believe. So people obviously buying this one because over 20 people have that in their basket. They got Halloween stuff, Christmas stuff here. So they're doing Christmas specific candles. Now this is very, very like Creative Fabrica style designs. You can go, go to Creative Fabrica, check out my link down below. You can get a massive discount. And in Creative Fabrica, you can get all of these style assets, right? You want stockings. You want, you know, these little wreaths right here. You want, uh, you're probably not gonna get a Leonardo DiCaprio uh, over on Creative Fabrica. You might, I'm not 100% sure, but you'll get all of this stuff. You get bells that you can use on your specific products and create really, really nice looking designs. This one here looks really, really nice. So they're just going, adding them and then putting them onto their candles right here, which is obviously you know, the, the main product that they sell. If we look at all and we're seeing their top products, they do really, really well. I'd imagine these guys are also running some pad ads, especially to get their store this big, this fast. You know, you probably have to run some pad ads. You're gonna have to do that kind of work uh, on this style of store to really make some decent money. Bro, this big, this fast, you're probably gonna have to do that. Um, so yeah, I, I really, really like this store. Let's take a look and see how much we think they're making. So I doubt many people are buying the sticker labels. I'm sure they get a few here and there, but they've got some products here that are $11.99, $22.95. But I think the main thing is the candles on the store. So we're gonna take that as their average order value. It could be slightly more or slightly less, but I believe it's probably slightly more, but even at $10, so 9.99, or sorry, 10 pounds, 9.99, so that's like, let's do this in dollars, so $14 times the 22,000 sales or so that they had, that's a $308,000 store selling rude candles, very, very rude candles. You got naughty scratch cards over here uh, as well, which is kind of funny. So I thought it was a pretty cool store. The marketing angle is definitely interesting. And again, let me know down below in the comments if this is something that you would expect to see or even work in the United States market because I'm not 100% sure if it would. But these guys are doing it really well in the UK. It's definitely British humor. Uh, for sure. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead, hit the like button, hit subscribe if you are new here, and make sure to check out one of these other videos on the channel if you want to see more videos like this, where we check out stores, see what's popping, see what's not, and I'll see you guys in the next one.